um, big crash involving Marta Cavalli. Now, it was a pretty, it was a pretty horrendous one to watch. Actually, sorry, it was two days ago now. And um, I just want to go through it because I think it's an interesting crash. Obviously, it's not great when anyone crashes, but it's an interesting point who crashed into it. So Nicole Louise Frain said, it didn't go how it helped. Uh, anyway, basically, all she says, after working hard to come back to the peloton, the convoy with my teammates, we rejoined the pack, would have matched their pace. They came off the wheel. I was unaware of the riders on the road from another crash. My teammate went to the left of the road, but I didn't have the opportunity to say anything I didn't see. And then she basically whacked into it. Now, the thing is, we're going to watch it from this angle first, and it looks absolutely ridiculous. Um, like, what? Um, if you watch it again, the way she, she goes through is absolutely crazy. But I think you need to have some context for this, and then we'll show you the next bit, which is basically this part here, sorry. Um, I have had an update think is from the uh, shot behind. Um, let's see, are we gonna find it? No, sorry. I'm trying to use these content. With, um, so anyway, if you watch from this part here, you can see that here she is in the Australian national champs. Now, the thing I think that's sort of crazy is that like she can see, I assume, that everyone's slowing down, and she basically tries to hop through the gap. It's actually pretty mad if she managed to do it. So you can see everyone's going left. She sees the gap here, hops right goes in between and at this point she's like oh no there's someone on the road and it just whacks into her but i think the thing is that's sort of crazy um in my opinion was the fact that she didn't think like obviously i think the other thing is if we look here um you'll be able to see that she's actually looking down here which isn't great and then when she i guess by the time she looks up it's a bit late but also doesn't realize that everyone's slowing down i think that's the sort of thing that's crazy about this one is that she just decided not to whack on any brakes, just hop through left, right and centre. Like, obviously, you know, I, I get her point, but I think I think it's it's hard to justify, really, her her opinion of the fact that, like, oh, I just tried to hop through a gap. It's like, well, yeah, but surely you saw everyone else slowing down. I mean, I just it just seems absolutely bonkers. Um, but I guess, you know, wasn't there at the time, all the rest of it. But anyway, let me know what you think. The Tour de France film has actually been quite exciting. Um, I don't watch normally crazy amounts of women's racing, but actually it's been good. Today's stage was interesting with the gravel. Um, and I look forward to some more more stages coming up. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this quick video. And I'll see you in the next one.